Good evening, folks, and welcome to the Trucker John Show. Glad you're here. It is September 3rd, 2019, and uh, we've been sitting here in this truck stop in Parrish, New York. We're here at Speedy's for approximately 17 hours. Yeah, so <laughs> I think I told you last night that uh, I was going to call in this morning around 9. Well, I did, and my load was not ready, so I... Uh, called back in the early afternoon it still wasn't ready and they just let me know about 30 minutes ago it was ready so getting ready to take off out of here go pick it up and head up to St. Albans Right. Here we are. I thought I was going to run in the daytime today. That didn't work out, did it? Well, at least I got here and was able to get a shower and everything last night, early this morning. Looks like we're going to be up in St. Albans probably around 2 a.m. And uh, as far as another load after that, I don't have anything solid. So, uh... May or may not, I don't have one for tomorrow, which will be tomorrow, Wednesday, the 4th. May have something for Thursday. Yeah, it looks like we got a pretty nice sunset over here, if we can see it at some point. I think tomorrow school starts around here. Well, there's a school bus now. Full of kids, too. It might be sports. Might be on a, might have had a game or something down here tonight in Mexico. Mexico, New York. Okay, we are here. It's gorgeous out, man. 70 degrees, there's no humidity tonight. It's like perfect. Liking it. Hmm. All right, well, let's get rid of our empty right here. Alrighty guys, we got our uh, trailer all hooked up, kind of uh, didn't really video anything, we're kind of, not that we're in a hurry, but we need to get uh, get on the road and get up there. It's 8.30, we got to be there by 3.15, so that gives me like an hour and a half leeway, just in case something happens. Alright, 
Okay, this is Rouse's Point, New York. We only got 32 miles left to our delivery. Looking like we're going to be there just before 2 a.m. Been pretty windy out. Still warm though, it's 63. Yeah, straight out there in front of us, that's Lake Champlain. It is, I know it's like one o'clock in the morning, but still it's pretty dead out tonight. I think summer is officially over up here. All the tourists are gone. Make a right hand turn here. Just up ahead there, the light straight ahead. That is the international border. Sometimes I come through here, my phone goes over to uh, Canadian roaming. So this uh, takes you on Route 2 here in Vermont, and then we hit pick up 78, Route 78. Take that out to uh, 89 and go south. This is the first of two bigger bridges that go over the lake. 
think I'm just going to drop this, drop and hook this trailer and uh, just go over to the little jolly truck stop right there and shut it down because I I don't have any scheduled loads after this one. I got a maybe, but it won't be for tomorrow. So I think I'll shut her down there. And I was thinking about going down to the TA in uh, Fultonville, but that's a good three hours. It'll be two, three, four, five. I think I'll shut it down up here. <clears throat> Maybe look at the uh, Landstar load board first thing in the morning. Maybe something will pop up <laughs> that I can grab and do another load and then go home for the uh, for the weekend. Yeah, this is the uh, second bridge over Lake Champlain. This is the upper part of the lake here. Uh, Kind of got a, a big peninsula that sticks down into the center of the lake off out of Canada. That's why there's two bridges going over the lake. Yeah, this next five mile stretch through here is probably the worst part of the trip. Narrow road here and no shoulder to speak of, and it's rough. It's rough and it's rutted, so it kind of throws you all over the place. It really stinks when it's raining out because you can't see anything. Forget about the snow. <laughs> Pretty crappy across here in the snow and out. And we're coming in to the little town of Swanton, Vermont. Take a peek at that little truck stop down there. And straight ahead, I know you probably can't see it. Let's see if I can see any parking spots in there. Yeah. There's a couple, it looks like. Oh, yeah, there's a couple of spots in there. Uh, we 
cool down and do our drop and hook and get back up there. Okay, well, it is 1.47 a.m. here in St. Albans. We have 69 degrees here. Yeah, today it got a little bit warmer than it's been the last couple days. I think it was 78 degrees there in Parrish in the afternoon where I was parked at. Yeah, this entrance to the industrial park here is kind of narrow. Yeah, let's see if they got a dock door open for us tonight. Well, I see there's a lot of prime trucks in here tonight. Since we're back in business here, I guess, after the holiday. trucks sitting down there are prime trucks. They haul a lot of this ice cream out of here. Well, it's a lot uh, drier here last time we were in the same dock. This is the dock with all that garbage sitting by it. <laughs> yeah. You gotta get straightened out. Yeah, you know, they built this new uh, warehouse here for just for receiving this stuff. Put in nice docks. Fancy. Nobody ever bothered painting any lines on the concrete. So now when you back in here, if the trailer that you're looking at on either side of you is crooked in the door, it's kind of hard to tell if you're straight. And we will, okay we got her nice and straight, pull up enough to leave the doors open. 
let open the doors if they tell me to. All right, we just swapped over to our other trailer. We dropped the uh, load of one in the door. This has the most up-to-date DOT inspection on it, so I brought this one in here. I think I remember this is a pretty decent trailer. Pull this out of the dock. They told me everything's empty, but we'll double check it before we get too far away from the dock. Oh yeah, she's empty. Get on up to the truck stop. We'll do a post trip inspection and get off duty. Oh, it should work at all shippers and receivers, right? <laughs> yeah, right. So, we've only worked seven hours and three minutes so far today, and we'll be shut down here in ten minutes. So, we did it all without having to do a 30 minute break.
Okay, this guy's probably gonna park, so give him some room here. Maybe not. This is going. This is getting fuel, I don't know. All right, that's going to wrap it up for today's video. I appreciate you guys being here and sticking it out to the end. And uh, give me a like, subscribe, and comment. And uh, we'll see you next time on the Trucker John Show. Take care now.